All right, hi everybody today. We are uh, out here in, the, in our development lab. My name is Tim Grillo. I'm the director of engineering and I have uh, Matt Bell with me. He's one of our uh, platform engineering uh, program leaders. Uh, so today we're going to be here to talk about Gen 3 Hemis. Uh, the Gen 3 Hemi has been out for a while now. What's it been out since 2003? Yeah, and uh, lots of configurations. There's tons of them available in junkyards. They range anywhere from around 350 horsepower. Is that right, Matt? All the way up to 800. Uh, if you go up to all the way up to the the big dog one, so they're everywhere. There's plentiful. Uh, Mopar's actually been doing a really good job of making lots of uh, crate engines and have their own support system. So we're really embracing this, and there, there's just tons of these out there, out there, and they have tons of potential. So we we're really jumping all over. Um, making these engines work great in your hot rods and your race cars and all that kind of stuff. So uh, today we're here around this old pickup truck. Trucks are really popular right now. Again, they make great platforms for old hot rods or, or race vehicles or whatever. There's a lot of guys out drag racing these, using them for hot rods and all kinds of stuff. So we started off developing a system to put uh, the Hemi in here. So Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what we got here. All right, the truck's a 1981 uh, Dodge Ram D150. Uh, we've got a 5.7 uh, Hemi out of a 2013 uh, Dodge Charger. Uh, it also has the Nag1 transmission behind it and we're using that. Um, the system we've come up with, we wanted all the parts to play together nice, so we started with the motor mounts. Uh, typically, um, other components that you buy from other companies, the, they would, uh, the, the motor is placed in such a way that the transmission bell housing is in the same position as factory and that uh, gives you a bunch of problems. It, it, it creates more problems than it fixes. So what we decided to do is move the motor forward an inch and a quarter. Um, you see our mounts are uh, uh, welded together sheet metal uh, uh, brackets. They use these stock um, uh, rubber isolators, uh, interlocking rubber isolators that would have come on this truck originally. We moved the engine forward an inch and a quarter. It gives you extra clearance around your brake booster. Uh, against the firewall and you can get all of your uh, stock uh, accessories and everything in there as far as uh, clearance. You can see we've got the uh, uh, engine cover clears, your brake booster, your master cylinder, uh, your firewall, you've uh, still got your hard lines for the coolant tubes that run underneath the air uh, intake manifold so you can still use that. Uh, variable uh, runner length system is uh, you can still use that here, it does not crash in your firewall so you don't have to delete that. Uh, we think that's a pretty nice feature. Up front, you got your accessories. Your uh, AC compressor will fit uh, without any modifications as long as it's a VVT motor. Um, your alternator bracket, we're coming up with a solution for that. That'll come down the pike a little later. So today we're really talking about the headers, the cross member, the motor mounts, and the exhaust. Uh, as we get into this, we've been, we're finding more and more problems with the swap uh, system. So as we find problems, we're going to create solutions for everybody out in the market. So you know, as we do this stuff, we just keep creating more and more solutions. So when we're done with this whole system and all the parts that are coming, uh, we're going to have a complete system that, that makes this super, super easy for everybody out there to do. All right, so I think that's pretty much everything under here. I think we should uh, go and lift this up and show everybody everything underneath. What do you think? That's good. Let's get her in here. All right. All right, now we got this thing up. I'll show you some of the stuff underneath here. So another one of the big benefits of moving the engine forward a little bit is the clearance it provides with the oil filter. So Matt, why don't you talk about that a little bit? Typically, if the engine's not moved forward like we've done, you'll have to uh, make some accommodations for your oil filter. That's a relocation kit or notch in your frame. There's a lot of guys out there buying the 45 degree adapter. You don't need to do that with this kit. You can use your filter as is, and you still have plenty of clearance. If you'd like to use the 45 degree adapter, you can. Um, other thing that this kit is, uh, works well is with the uh, stock truck pan. This is a cast pan. I can't remember what this one came out of, but there's also a sheet metal pan that, that works as well. Uh, all Chrysler Mopar OEM stock, you can buy directly from them. Uh, you can see undershot of our mounts here. Um, they're uh, nice and clean. Comes with all the hardware you need, and uh, we're also going to offer the uh, isolators as well. All right, so this cross member, they put a lot of effort into making this a very modular thing to work with lots of stuff. So again, Matt, why don't you go into some of the detail of what we did with this cross member and how it works with everything. All right, this is a really cool piece. Uh, we've uh, engineered in a double hoop there, so you can do a three inch exhaust if you like. Um, also, this thing's modular, like Tim was saying, with some adapters, you can go from uh, 727, 46RE, NAG1, um, uh, 8HP90, uh, 8HP70, all that will work with this cross member. You'll just have different adapters and uh, different bolt placement for your side brackets here, which is pretty sweet. 
Okay, so these are the adapters that we were talking about with this cross member. So uh, this one right here is uh, the one that converts it to 727. Uh, that's the 8 HP, and that's the the five. Go ahead, Matt. The 545 RFE and the 46 RE use the same plate. And then, of course, the NAG one is the one that it's already up in there. So uh, that kind of shows you this is all the adapter is that it takes to convert the cross member to different transmissions. So, for instance, if you uh, only have money for a 46RE or a 727, and later on you decide you want five speeds, you buy the adapter, you move your uh, cross member uh, and you forward a little bit. You reuse this piece you right here. You reuse this piece. So that's pretty sweet. Um, here we've got the, tran the uh, NAG one transmission in. As you can see, we're developing some. Uh, uh, other goodies to go along with that, I'll, I'll keep that a little bit of a secret. Uh, you can see that um, right now we've got the exhaust kit, which is actually the master. So we use these to uh, develop our parts. We come up with uh, where we want the tubes to be. We paint them red so we know what they are. Uh, this kit will be on the shelf by the time this video airs, so disregard the red paint. Uh, this kit is a uh, two and a half uh, to a single muffler. Um, goes out to a three inch tailpipe, comes out the side behind the rear tire. We also offer a uh, um, dual exit, which is basically the same kit, but you'll have two pipes coming out and dual exit out the side. Uh, one muffler, and the uh, muffler has a, the cross pipe, the X pipe built into it. Uh, you can get a good shot of our headers here. These are also really sweet. These things are um, probably better than anything on the market that we've seen. Uh, the main uh, benefit with this header is Drivers and passengers starter, either one. Whichever one you want to use, this bad boy will do it. So let's elaborate on that just a little bit. So these engines come, depending on what year or make model they came out of, they have starters on either yep. side, right? So that's most, most of the cars have passenger side starter, most of the truck engines have a driver side starter. So depending on what you get out of a junkyard, the starter could be on the driver or passenger side. Yep. So we, we accommodated either one. So these headers will work either way. So you're open, you're not locked into having to get exactly. a certain Gen 3 Hemi, any Gen 3 exactly. Hemi will work with these headers. And again, later on, if you try, decide to go with a modern transmission, later on, you won't have to buy new headers. Pretty sweet. 304 stainless steel, one and seven eighths uh, uh, primaries. We also have uh, O2 sensor bongs in each collector, uh, so you can keep your EFI. Um, Ground clearance is really good on them. Nothing hangs below the frame. Correct. Correct. Pretty nice piece. They're really easy to install as well. All right, well, that's pretty much it, everybody. Uh, thanks for checking it out with us. We're really excited about this whole program. Uh, keep your eye out to holly.com. we got a lot more stuff for Gen 3 Hemis coming out. So uh, in the very short future, we're going to have all kinds of stuff for anything you want to do with one of these things.